Hi guys, this is Umu from Reaction oh, OK, we're, and we're this is filming. yes, we're we're rolling. It's Kevin who's not rolling, writing dirty. Oh, they hate him. Rolling, rolling, oh, that's a good song. <laughs> I've had this song on my Watch Later playlist, and finally, Kevin's and my timelines have crossed, and I'm like, yo, let's marathon a bunch of K-pop music videos and watch them. And I know a bunch of people recently tweeted me saying like, freaking check it out already! So I'm like, okay, okay, I'm like in the middle of like five hours of homework, but let's, let's marathon this sh good stuff. What is love? Still love you. Yeah, we just watched What is Love, so we're gonna watch Still Love You, and it's a collaboration between people, and their vocals are amazing. And you it's a ballad. You told me that. Well, they didn't know that I already told you that! Oh, okay. Three, two, one, bra! That was accurate. Martin Kippenberger. Guitar. Strings. Ooh, it's corny. Real but like, question mark? I like those instruments. Like, it sounds real. Okay, the swells don't. Oh no. This looks emotional. Our school so played a classical guitar concerto the other day. I really like the sound of, like, guitar over strings. Yeah, he's uh, FT Island. He's from a rock band. He's a vocalist of a rock band. Future Islands? I've never heard his voice before. That's a cool chord. That's, I, that was really cool. There's like a diminished thingy where you don't expect it. Oh. I like his lights up to head. I don't. I like the melody. I like it. You don't? I don't like this melody. Oh! Okay. Are we gonna modulate? D flat, D flat, D flat, D flat, D flat. No! They just went back. That's so good. That's even better. That's amazing. They basically. Whoa! Nah, that's not. Nah. Okay. I mean, they just went to the two. They're still in the same key. So they prolonged a note in a different key and then yeah. they went back to the original key. I mean, his voice is amazing. I love how he goes into his his falsetto. Head voice or falsetto? I think it's falsetto. Falsetto. But guess what? It's sappy. It's so sappy. The chords. Yeah. No, not the chords. The melody too. Oh. And the and the way the instruments are arranged. It's just sappy. Yeah. I think you'd have to read with the lyrics. Oh, they have lyrics. Look at that. Oh no! Here we go. Oh, now we got a cello I solo. I heard that. Oh, I'm a sucker for cello solos and songs. Gotta get all my secrets away. So, a song with a cello solo. A little touch, just a little touch. Like little touch so cheesy. It's all so cheesy. I just, I, that's so cool to me. Going back there. And then that's immediately cheesy again. The going back. Going back upwards. So basically they had one key and they prolonged a new key and then they went back to that key I, and then they went back up. They kind of went back up, but like they didn't tonicize there. So it's in relation to the yeah, original key. That's why it doesn't work as well. Yeah, it's hard to explain, but... I like the fact that one of the vocalists has... The FT Island dude has like more of a grainy voice, and then he has it more clear. So when they sing in harmony, it kind of fills out. The Please note. actually do it. Oh, here he comes. Oh man, yeah, there it is. Wow. Oh, oh now man, we got an electric guitar. guitar. That's good stuff. Okay, see, this is good, Sappy. That guitar solo. That's what this song needed. Five of five. Oh, that's so clever. The five of five in the previous key. Just kidding. I knew that I was gonna happen. I'm like, it's coming. I can feel it coming. Man, that's so corny. This song has really nice moments, but then it also. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. That syncopation is still also corny. No, it's not. It's not a good syncopation, sadly. No, no, no. But it has really nice moments, but then yeah. it does go into the more generic, yeah. like ballad, yeah. string rhythm ba stuff. Ballad, ballad. I said ballad. Oh, I thought you said ballet. ballet. <laughs> Can you imagine a ballet to this? Yes, actually. Mm. 
I kind of like the arpeggio in the guitar. Yeah, it's well course. produced. I like how, yeah. Thank I you like... for having real instruments. That's another thing. Okay, well, okay, nice. so, yeah, we, we liked the kind of modulation part um, where they prolonged the D flat. Mm -hmm. And I personally liked the moments when, how they played with sil silence. I know yeah. we say that a lot in these yeah. reactions, but like they would totally take out the orchestration and allow the vocalist to shine. Oh yeah. Because I think that one of the main points of that song, hinting at the next song we're watching, which is Pentagon Shine. Um, <laughs> but I think one of the main points for that is to highlight the vocals, which it did a good job of, but we've heard the instrumentals do those things before. Like what it did, like, um, certain progressions we've heard, mm -hmm. um, like in the final chorus, like when um, the vocalist went da 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 da, yeah. and there was nothing, and then the drums would come in. I'm like, oh, it's coming, it's gonna be ba da da ba da ba da da da. to me, it's associated with like Asian dramas too much. It sounds like the ending of an Asian drama. I don't know if you want like your songs to sound like that. I mean, oftentimes they do post music videos for like soundtracks. Right. No, it isn't. It isn't a soundtrack song because it yeah. would not be like right. OST. But the, I, I wouldn't be surprised if a K drama features this song mm -hmm. in the future because mm -hmm. this is definitely like the K drama feels mm -hmm. valid. It's a good iteration of that. It has its shortcomings. And of course, that high note was. That series of high notes. The series, the many high notes. Yes. And then the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> and electric guitar, yeah, that was, that was fantastic. Yeah. What was that? It went up like a scale a little bit and then it jumped a fifth and then an octave. What was that? Let's, let's going go back. up an octave. Well, it, it was, was like, um, it was like, wasn't it like it was a triad? One, two, three, five, six. It could, the six is the surprising one. And then didn't it go up one more? No. Then it go up to one, six, one. No, it one, doesn't two, go three, one. Five, six, one. No, it was one, two, three, five, six. Are you sure? I'm sure. Let's. The highest note is the six for sure. One, two, three. That's two. Oh. In the new key. Three. three. Five. Six. Six. Oh, I mean six. One, two, three, five, six. One, two, three, five, six. six. Except, oh. except the one is already a high note for most tenor voices. So for him to get to that six, man. Yeah, that's pure head voice. There's no falsetto there. He's like using his like true range. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Bye.